now, Shula. Shula, you OK? Oh, sorry, Clary. I don't know where I was. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Scorcher. Dropping in on Alistair, were you? Uh, no, no, I came to see Jim. Oh. How are you? I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to say hello at church. Oh, don't worry. I could see you were talking to Alan. I'm trying to, anyway. It can't be long now till you move. Oh, we've got some time still till we have to say goodbye to Grange Farm. It's Edward and Emma that's moving first. Oh, I see. Still, it's going to be quite a wrench for you. Well, it, we're never going to be forever. Oh, Miss that lovely big Grange, mind. Nothing like it for airing Eddie's smalls. <laughs> no, I'm sure. Oh, I should get going. We're getting the hay in this evening, so it's all hands to the pump. Oh, right. Oh, speak of the devil. Ugh. He was just talking about <laughs> you, Alan. <laughs> in more pious terms than that, I hope. <laughs> oh, I'm on orders to buy courgettes before the shop closes. I was off anyway. See you, Shula. Oh, yes. Bye, Clary. Alan, you couldn't spare just a minute, could you? Honestly, if I come home without these courgettes, who shall have my guts for garters? I did try to speak to you this morning. Yes, I know, and I'm sorry. No, oh, well, you were busy with other people. Yeah, well, that's Sunday's for you. Well, <laughs> maybe I could pop over later tonight. Um, some things have happened recently, and they've made me rethink. Rethink? Yes. You see, I've changed my mind about getting ordained. you fired it up since last year? Do you even know if it still works? Of course she works. This old girl's been bailing hay since before you was born. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. It's a miracle and rattled itself apart. Yeah, you'll see. Just because you've been spoilt by all that expensive machinery over at home farm, with their fancy gubbins and satellite-guided computer controls. Guess how many acres of barley we brought in today. So what? No wrong with tradition. It's how we're going to get our hands on Peggy's 500 grand. <laughs> you can laugh, Edward, but these hay meadows are of national importance. <laughs> Kirsty Moore and I were only discussing it the other week. National importance? Grandad was too stuck in his ways to do anything with them. That's the only reason they've survived. That's the beauty of the idea. We get paid for doing what we've always done. Nothing? No. We are preserving the meadows. Yeah, by doing nothing. Good, ain't it? There might finally be money in the Grundy way of farming. <laughs> if you say so. So should you. It's your name on the land tenancy. Uh, and if you want to pitch for the money, I ain't going to stop you. Oh, that's my boy. Amen. <laughs> oh, William, how do? He's popping up with you. Ah, oh, Mum's got her. Uh, back from the shop, is she? Well, I guess. Uh, all right, Ed? Fine. Yeah, you? Oh, I'm OK. Right. The team's all here, then. Twine's been threaded, gears are oiled. I reckon we can start. Yeah, if the bailer does. Now, just you watch this. Oh, watch out, Will. I'd stand back if I were you. Aha! Tradition, you see. There's life in the old girl yet. Please, have a seat. Oh, thanks, Alan. Uh, apologies for the mess. I keep meaning to institute some sort of system. Oh, that's OK. And unfortunately, there always seems to be more pressing need on my time. So, uh, last time we discussed ordination, you said you'd given up on the idea. Yes, I did. You must think I'm all over the place. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not sure I'd put it like that. Oh, yeah, you'd be right. I have been going from one thing to another, jumping from pillar to post. But it's the one thought that won't go away. Shulin. Oh, sorry, am I gabbling? No, no, no. You, you said something had happened recently that had changed your mind. Yes. Mm. Not to me. But it's forced me to confront things. Some people have to endure the most dreadful things, Alan. Things they couldn't possibly deserve. It's hard to make sense of how they're allowed to happen. That's true, certainly. Well, it's reminded me of how I felt when Mark was killed... It would have been really easy to blame God, to say, why did he do this to me? Why couldn't he save him from the car crash? Well, you know, you lost Catherine. Yes. Well, not quite so suddenly, but yeah, you're right. It, 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 it's not surprising to have those thoughts. But I didn't, though. Instead, God gave me the strength to carry on. Mm, that was the same for me. 
Yes, but why should we be so lucky? Do you think you know the answer? <sighs> Look, I'm not perfect, Alan. There'll be people who'll question why someone who's broken their marriage vows should be allowed to become a vicar. And that's a reasonable question. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And I've had to think about that seriously. So, is this about making amends? Amends? Do you think being ordained would mean you're forgiven? Because if you do, that, that's not a good reason to... Oh, no, to, no, to... not at all. Mm. I just know that all the times I've slipped, God's never abandoned me. Why would that be? Unless I'm meant to help other people. You're sure that's what God wants for you? I think so. You don't sound completely certain. I feel it's my calling. Faith's a gift. I want to do more with that gift. I've been keeping it to myself, not wanting to accept that God was pulling me towards him, but well, in these last few weeks... Yes? I can't explain all the evil in the world. I wish there wasn't so much suffering, but I know the healing power of Christ too. And I want to try and offer that certainty to people who maybe don't have it. Yes, I've, I've fallen short, but... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Carry on. I know God still loves me. It's because of that, not in spite of it that I think I could make a good vicar. Edward! William! Tea and Sony's in the yard when you want them. Yeah, all right. Yeah, cheers, Mum. Yeah, we'll be along just as soon as we finish stacking this lot. Don't worry. <coughs> no rush. So, uh, the work going OK, is it? Yeah, not too bad. All the birds are up in the release pens now. Ah. Hello, I reckon there's a fox hanging about. Oh, yeah? Well, if there is, he's a clever one. Went out last <coughs> night, but no sign. Last night, eh? That's right. Uh, so, uh, where was Poppy? With Bev. Yeah, she stayed overnight. Oh, that's good. I was really pleased that you managed to sort things out with her. Uh, genuinely, I uh, want to make looking after Poppy a lot easier. Yeah, it will. All right, looks like this is the last one. All right. Yeah, and it's uh, it's good for Poppy too. She was really like seeing more of her gran. Yeah, still wouldn't take much to upset the boat, mind. Huh? How do you mean? Well, no, I'm just saying, it ain't an excuse for you to, you know. What? Start up this scam with Tim Oti again. Now, Bev might not be after custody of Poppy now, but that could all change if her uncle gets himself banged up. So I'm not going to get banged up. Well, because you stopped for good? Well... But you promised. No more dodgy pesticides. I know what I said. Well, and you're keeping your word? Yes. Really? Yes, Will. Yeah, it's over. Good. Yeah. Then there ain't nothing to worry about, is there? Yeah, we can put the last few months behind us. That's all I want. Yeah, me too. Best go and have our tea. I'm starving. One thing's for sure. Edward's sheep won't be short of hay this winter. We'll have plenty left over to sell to the stables. Here's your tea. Oh, cheers. See, Fat Paul and Baggy have already made a start on the cider. Mm. Well, they've earned it. It's a darn sight cheaper than paying a minimum wage. It's nice to see Edward and William working so well together. Oh, yeah. And George having a go at bailing, too. <laughs> he did grand. <laughs> Not a piece of hay left behind. He's growing up fast. And so's Kira. <laughs> you know she wanted to drive, too. Did you let her? Oh, Baggy told us in the trailer instead. Although she's dead keen to get behind the wheel. Oh, bless. Where is she now? She's gone to see the sheep with Emma. Hey, come on, love. There'll be plenty more days like this. House or no house, there'll always be hater bail. Won't be the same, though. Have you seen Joe? I've seen him. He's so happy. Sat in the evening, sun watching the bales come in, bouncing little Poppy on his knee. Then I guess we should just treasure the moment. How are we doing? 
You've got crumbs all over your face. Oh, go on, give us a kiss. <laughs> Oi, oi, oi. Ah, enough of that, thank you. Can you. Take it inside. Hey, get off the pair of you. <laughs> you ready for your tea? Yeah, I should say so. Oh, thanks, Mum. Sandwiches are just there. Uh, Ham and cheese or cold beef and horseradish. Oh, brilliant. Yep, you're a star. You're all done then? Mm. Yep, the barn's full. Yeah, all set for the year ahead. There, you see? That's just what I've been trying to tell you, Mum. Yeah, I know, I know. Just because we're moving house, it don't mean we're leaving the farm. And in any case, what's the matter with number one, the green? Mm. Nothing, love. Nothing at all. I'm sure we'll be very happy. And Edward and Emma are going to finally have their own place too. Honestly, it's wonderful. Couldn't have worked out any better. Oh, I'm just being sentimental. Well, it's like Dad says, though. We'll still be farming here. Yeah, just like us Grundys have done for generations. Yeah, there ain't no getting rid of us. You never know. We might even win Peggy's half a million pounds. <laughs> well, we'll see. Eddie. Well, we might. <laughs> I know I keep saying it, but ordination is a long and difficult path. Yes, I know. You might think you're certain now, but there's no guarantee you'll feel the same down the line. No. And I do understand why you have to be so rigorous. Yeah, just so long as you don't think it's personal. No. Why would having my faith question feel personal? Well, you know what I mean. I do. Which is how I know I'm ready. Yeah, there'll be challenges. But I have faith God will put me where he wants me. All I can do now is put myself in his hands. Well, you've convinced me. Like I said, I'll get in touch with the diocesan director of ordinance tomorrow. Arrange for the two of you to meet. Alan, I really can't begin to explain how much this means to me. My pleasure. I always knew you'd be back. Sorry? After you'd told me you'd decided against being ordained, I knew if your calling was genuine, you wouldn't be able to resist it. And here you are. Yes, here I am. Oh. Prof, you are right in there? Yeah. It's four in the morning. Hello? No. Could I come in? No, go away. Jim? Stop it. Don't touch me. You're all right, you're all right. You're having a nightmare. No, I don't want to. Come on, pal. Uh, uh, Wake up. Listen, get off. Uh, it's me. Uh, it's Jazza. Jazza? Oh, that's right. The lummox you see out here, who's we? Uh, oh, Jazza. Where's, where's the switch for your lamp? Oh. That's it. You need to worry, yeah? You're safe in your own bed. Honestly, Jazza, I'll be fine now. You should get some sleep. Don't be daft. Oh, haven't you got to be up for your round soon? Aye. There's no point in me going back to bed, is there? How about a nice wee hot toddy to settle their nerves, eh? A hot milk will be sufficient. You sure? Yes, perfectly. Thank you, though. I do appreciate everything you've been doing for me. Oh, no, no, I recognise I can't be the easiest person to live with at the moment. <laughs> when will you ever? <laughs> Your continued friendship means an awful lot. Oh, these nightmares I've been having. Aye. I've noticed you've not been sleeping too well lately. They seem to be getting worse. I haven't mentioned it to Alistair. I don't want to upset him more than he already is. Is that what you're worried about? Upsetting folk? Well, these days it's the only thing of which I seem to be capable. Oh, don't sweat on it. But I do, Jazza. It's not as though I want to be like this. I meant to be opening the village shop this morning, although I really don't know how I'm going to face it. Even with another hour or two in bed, I doubt I'll feel much better. Skip it, then. I can't. Is there no other people that can do a shift for you? Well, yes, I expect so. But then I'd have to let Susan know, and she'll start asking all sorts of questions. She already thinks I'm going dotty after that mishap with the till. I'll phone her, then. Uh, no, no, no. Sneak skin off my nose. What would you even say to her? Oh, I'll feed her some excuse. Just worry about getting some proper rest. Well, that is very tempting. Good. That's sorted, then. I'm let damn on to your pithy ass. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Well, did he know cover for his mate? Well, in a way, Damon allowed himself to be held hostage in place of Pythias so that he could go home and settle his affairs. 
I'm just amazed you knew. Are you joking? After living with you all these years, something had to rub off. <laughs> right, there's your milk. Oh. You get yourself back to bed. I'm serious. Forget about the shop. Yes, well, thank you. I I'll do my best. Oh, and Prof. Yes. I bet. What? I bet Harold's not having nightmares. No, we went to the police, that might be different. Yes, yes, it, it might. Mm. Well, thanks again for the hot milk, Jazz. I, I, I'm sure it'll do the trick. Morning, Johnny. How's it going? Our Monty's milking okay? Yep, it seemed fine. Good, good, good. Right, uh, listen, oh, I've got a problem. Morris has managed to chip his tooth. Something to do with a popcorn kernel. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, well, unpopped, of course. He's booking an emergency appointment with a dentist, but in the meantime, I'm going to have to make a start on the sausages. Right. You, you couldn't do me a favour and see to the pigs? Uh, it's going to be another hot one today. The main thing is to make sure that they've got enough water. I'm sorry, I don't think I can. But I, I Two need... of the Montys are bullying. I need to be around for a lane when she comes to inseminate them. That's not going to take all day, though. No, but you've already asked me to thin out the salads. Look, Johnny... All you have to do is fill up the wallows. It's really not a big job. Then why can't you do it? Because I need to get over to Sawyer's now. But I... Look, why don't you ask Dad if you think you need some help? Tom, hang on. Cheers, Johnny. I owe you one. Coming. Just a moment. You caught me in the stock room. Sorry. Here I am. Which would you recommend? The homemade butter fudge or the treacle toffee? <laughs> Leonard... What are you doing here? Well, I was at home by myself, having just been stood up. And I thought, she's not getting rid of me that easily. <laughs> I'll pester her at the shop instead. Stop it. <laughs> you know it wasn't my choice to be here. Ah, oh, you say that now. But don't tell me you don't love being behind the counter, hearing all the village news. Yes, normally. <laughs> I was looking forward to spending the morning with you. But when Susan ran, she sounded in such a panic. Oh, Jill, really, I'm only teasing. Yes. But the more that I've thought about it, why should I have to cancel my plans? Apparently, Jim couldn't do his shift because some sort of diary clash. Oh, well, these things happen. I know, but he's not the only one with commitments. I was meant to be seeing you. Oh, but then I wouldn't have been able to surprise you. <laughs> He didn't even have the good grace to tell Susan himself. He got Jazza to do it for him. Well, never mind. I'm here now. I thought maybe when you're finished, I could treat you to lunch at the Bull. Thank you. That would be lovely. Good. Bless you, how thoughtful. Huh. Although, if anyone should be treating me, it really ought to be Jim. Johnny, is Tony still with you? Yeah, he's uh, just having a rest. A rest? He said he'd only be a few minutes. I know, but we couldn't find the hose for the Bowser and the wallows were almost completely dry. Don't tell me you've been filling them by hand. Uh, like I said, the pigs were really struggling. Using buckets was Grandad's idea. Oh, you shouldn't have let him. This heat isn't just bad for the pigs, you know. He shouldn't be lugging heavy buckets of water halfway across the field. Sorry. You know what he's like, though? Yes, I do. So how much longer do you think you're going to be? Uh, we're getting there. Maybe another four or five trips. Oh, I'll hold off lunch then. Sure. OK, Gran. And tell Tony not to overexert himself. He's not as fit as he thinks he is. It's going to be quite the party by the sound of things. So it's going to be in the barn, is it? Yes. Toby and Rex are really going to town. They've organised slides and a ball pit and all sorts of things. Oh, goodness me. I know it's a bit silly. Rosie's hardly going to remember. Well, you can't not celebrate a first birthday. No, exactly. Toby's at least allowed me to make the cake. Decorating it. That's my job for this afternoon, so ah. it's ready for tomorrow. We'd best order our lunch, then. Here, have a menu. Nip to you in the bar. Jazza. Oh, hello. No, but then we've only been here a minute. He tells you all he's not here keeping things in check. <laughs> no offence. I'm sure Kenton's doing his best. Did Jim get to his appointment this morning? Hmm? Oh, aye. Only he seems to be doing this a lot at the moment. Doing what, Jim? Not turning up when he said he would. Letting people down. But that's hardly Jazza's fault. No, but Jazza's the one making excuses for him. Unless there's something else going on. Jim just double-booked his cell, that's all. There, there, you see. Well, then, in that case... 
He's just being rude. Rude? Jill, now, really. Uh... No, Leonard. It is only the shop. He hasn't been to parish council meetings. He hasn't been attending the fate committee. Uh, no, hold your horses. And I told you about his appalling behaviour at his own birthday party. Yes, yes, you did. I know he's full of apologies now. Ah, oh, yes. It's all very well, him insisting he's sorry. Well, yes. And that might wash with some. But it sounds pretty hollow when he carries on treating everyone in exactly the same thoughtless way. What would you know about it? I beg your pardon. Yes, all right. There's people in this world who have done far worse things than no turning up for the shift at the village show for crying out loud. Uh, that's enough. Please. There's no need to be impolite. Fine. I think I'll go and see if Henry's seven in the lounge. Good idea. Well, thank you, Leonard. Nice to know there are still a few gentlemen about. Did you have to keep going on, Jill? I did ask you to let it go. I'm sorry. I know you're annoyed, but lambasting that young man isn't going to help. Didn't you notice how upset he was getting? No. I felt quite embarrassed for the poor chap. I hadn't realised. I'm very sorry, Leonard. I didn't mean to embarrass you. Oh, no, that's all right. <laughs> Your problem is that you think everyone's as conscientious as you are. You need to give the rest of us mere mortals a bit of slack. Yes, I'll try. <laughs> if you would. I think I might go for the fish cakes. Honestly, the last thing I wanted was to make you feel awkward. Oh, Jill. I was only annoyed because it had spoiled our morning. It's fine, really. Now, have you decided what you'd like? Mm. For lunch, what would Madame like to eat? Morris's tooth's all fixed, then. Yep. I oh, just needed a quick filling. So you could have seen to the pigs after all. Oh, Mum. Instead of getting Johnny and your father to do it. For all I knew, Morris could have been gone all day. I didn't ask them to fill the wallows by hand. Yes, OK, fine. Hopefully they won't be much longer. Yeah, well, mind if I make a start? I'm absolutely starving. No, no, you go ahead. Mm. So, now you've got your day back, what are your plans? Uh, well, there's the proposal for Gran to work on. You've not been put off by the announcement in the Echo, then? Oh, why would I be? Make no difference to me if people outside the family can apply for the money. Me and Natasha still have the best idea. Such confidence. Mm, absolutely. And I'd like to look over the most recent Bridge Fresh figures. Since the launch, turnover's gone up almost 10%. Oh, you haven't forgotten it's Johnny's 21st next week? Hmm? No, oh, no I, I know. I thought we were having a family dinner before he goes up to Leeds. Oh, that's right. I just wanted to check it was on your radar. Oh, well. I might ask Helen for the latest shop figures, too. I know you were concerned. Adding meat and dairy to the box scheme might eat into sales. Yeah, OK, Tom. But if anything, I reckon they've slightly improved. <sighs> Johnny, what, what, what on earth? Uh, it's all right, don't panic. What, what happened? Where's Tony? Uh, it's fine. He's on his way. You're, you're limping. Yeah, I got my foot caught in a rut. It's oh. nothing. It's just a sprained ankle. Can you put weight on it? Oh, no, here, come on, sit down. Would some ice help? Honestly, it looks worse than it is. I fell head first into one of the wallows. Tipped the bucket all over me. Oh, Johnny. I reckon the pigs thought I were joining in. <laughs> yeah, well, we've all done it. Tom, don't laugh. I'm not. I'm just saying. It can happen to anyone. Yeah, well, it wouldn't have happened at all if we didn't still have the pigs. How much longer is it going to take to find a new supplier? I'm working on it. I've been busy. Yeah, doing everything else but... Hey! Uh, really, Tom, enough's enough. Ever since Jazza left, you've been promising the pigs would be going soon. Yes, I know. I... Well, you can't keep expecting the rest of us to bail you out. Isn't that right, Johnny? Uh, well, I don't. That's... It's just not that easy finding a local pork supplier. They're not one who's organic and will sell at a decent price. Then maybe we should carry on producing our own. Mum! In which case, you need to find a replacement for Jazza. No, I've made my decision. Yes! And now Johnny can barely walk. Oh, come on. Let alone making your father slog about in the sun. It was an accident. Uh, really, it's not that bad. Well, thank goodness. Now, I'm serious, Tom. It was your idea to get rid of the pigs. Nobody else wanted to. Uh, OK, OK. So get on with it. Find a new supplier now. Rex! Don't be such a killjoy. Take your shoes off and jump in. Toby, I am not getting in a ball pit. Oh, you're no fun! No, I'm just not a child. On your head, mate! Oh, stop it. Wow, look at this! 
You've got an entire soft play centre in here. So, where's the birthday girl? Oh, she's waiting to make her grand oh. entrance. Oh, to be. She's inside with Mum. Enough, enough. What? <laughs> If we lose some of the balls, we won't get back our deposit. Although, by the looks of it, you two are quite happy playing by yourselves. Just testing the equipment before Rosie's guests arrive. Was oh, that your girlfriend again? No. Don't be coy. I think you and Phoebe make a nice couple. Phoebe? Ignore him, he's an idiot. Hello, Tom. Wait, you are joking. He was over at hers all weekend. And they're constantly on the phone together. Really? Mm. No. Mm. No, there must be something else going on. Rex and Phoebe? No, no, no way. There you are. Sorry, Phoebe. I've been waiting for you. We said we'd meet before the party. I know, I know. It's my fault. Uh, Tom rang. Tom? Yeah, he's uh, asked me to supply him with pork. I knew he was getting out of pigs, but I assumed he wanted organic. Obviously not, though. <laughs> he says he's happy as long as the sausages are free range. OK, good, good for you, I guess. Anyway, I was up half the night working on our proposal. I think I've cracked it. Oh, uh, well, we've not got time to talk about that now. Uh, That's where you're wrong. The more I think about it, the more I'm convinced we need to get Pip on board. Uh, Okay, that's great, but let's talk about it tomorrow after Rosie's party. Uh, I mean, just look at Pip's experience. Innovative farmers, herbal lays. She's exactly the sort of partner we need if we're to be taken seriously. I can see where you're coming from, but today's not the day. Uh, Pip's going to be pretty busy enjoying her daughter's first birthday. Uh, Maybe we should be too. Too busy to hear a life-changing proposal? Phoebes, I know you're excited about this, but it isn't the right time. Trust me. Okay. But if she brings the trust up out of her own free will, then I can't be held responsible for my actions. Oh, Rosie, don't you look a picture. Gorgeous little dress. Well, you're only one once. (laughs) Is there somewhere to leave cards and presents? Oh, thanks. Uh, Yeah, just on the table over there. Shula, Elizabeth. Oh, Kenton, you made it. We weren't sure if you would. As if I would miss this, my great niece's birthday. (laughs) Uh, Just don't tell Lillian, eh? Oh, dear, she's still bossing you about. Let's not talk about it, eh? (laughs) We are here to celebrate. Um... Have you tried Toby Scruff Punch? Uh, no. Oh, you're not actually drinking it, are you? Yeah, it certainly lives up to his name. Well, this is Toby's idea of a children's party, so of course there's gin involved. <laughs> <laughs> Still, it's nice to see so many people here. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them are from my antenatal class, and a few from young farmers. Yeah, yeah now with their own even younger farmers. <laughs> hey, Pip! Oh, Phoebe, hi! Oh, it's nice to see you. Oh, you too. Oh, and hello yeah. again. Oh, hi. <laughs> we better have these presents to the yeah. pile. Oh, oh thanks yeah. again. Catch you later, Kenton. <laughs> you and Rosie look like you're deep in conversation. <laughs> no, we most certainly are. Let me, let me yeah. Okay. Come on, Rosie. So, Toby wasn't fibbing then? Toby? Oh, he said the two of you have been spending quite a bit of time together. Oh, no, Yes, no. we have. Well, not like that, though. Not like what? Huh? No, no, nothing. Uh, yeah, it sounds like more than nothing to me. No, uh, honestly, Pip, it's to do with Peggy's money. We've been working on a proposal, that's all. Oh, oh, well, go, go see. Yeah. In fact, it's something you might be interested in. Uh, Josh was just telling me about that. Um, he wants to build a fleet of autonomous battery-powered farm vehicles. That's right. Yep, the first electric tractors are supposed to hit the market next year. Oh, sounds like a rural Transformers. <laughs> oh, and Dave says Brookfield has plans too. Yeah, we do. Pip, you really need to hear our proposal. It's right up your street. Uh, Phoebe. What? Rosie, Rosie, don't cry. Hey, 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 look, look. Where have I gone? Where have I gone? (laughs) I expect she's just hungry. Come here, come here. There we go. Shall we go and see what there is? Maybe we can discuss it while she's eating, then. Phoebe, I thought we agreed not to say anything. She brought it up. We need to seize the moment. Come on. Have some punch, Elizabeth. Uh, I'd better not. Not sure I can do daytime drinking. <laughs> uh, I'll pour myself a lemonade. Oh, it's such good news about getting your alcohol licence back. I can't tell you. Obviously, I wish Freddie hadn't had to move out. Oh, of course. But... but he's doing fine with me. Oh, no, I know. All we really need to happen now is for him to find a job. Absolutely. <laughs> it's such a relief to feel things are getting back to normal. I mean, even just being here... A few months ago, it would have been a real struggle. It's wonderful, Elizabeth. You've done so well. (laughs) Thanks, Sheila. Mm. Oh, 
This has certainly got a kick. <laughs> oh, oh, look at Toby. I don't know who's enjoying themselves more, him or Rosie. Oh, what about Leonard? Dressed up smart in his very best suit. Mm. And Mum looks so happy, doesn't she? <laughs> she really does. I guess that means there must be some hope for the two of us. Even if we do have to wait until we're almost 90. <laughs> Elizabeth, I'm being serious. Oh, there's hope for us all. Why, have you got something to tell me? Shula, you have, haven't you? Oh, no, of course not. Who is he? Well, it's nothing like that. So, what then? Oh, come on, you can't keep it a secret now. <sighs> all right. But you mustn't mention it to anyone. It's still very early days. Rosie, honestly, uh, look, I know you love Grandma's cake, but look at the state of you. So, like we were saying... Let's find something to wipe those hands. Don't want to get your chocolatey fingers on your dress. But we've been researching places where rewilding's already been tried. Some of the results are just amazing. Aren't they, Rex? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, all sorts of rare species have returned. Uh, turtle doves, nightingales, purple emperor butterflies. Could you just pass me a napkin? Uh, what? They're the dish next to you. Oh, yeah, sure. And it's also led to a huge increase in the amount of carbon locked away in the soil. Here we go. So our proposal is to work with local landowners to return parts of Ambridge back to nature. That's better. Imagine looking down from Lakey Hill and, and seeing a patchwork of self-sustaining ecosystems all linked together. Oh, isn't it what the eco-warriors bang on about doing to Cumbria and the Highlands? Yes, exactly. On thousands of acres of remote hills. Uh, well, hang on. And in any case, my understanding is that Peggy's looking for ways of making farming more sustainable. Not getting rid of it altogether. No, no, this isn't about stopping farming, is it, Rex? No, no, it, it's about... It's about making room for nature to recover on land that's no longer productive. Rosie, have you filled your nappy? <laughs> this really isn't the best time. Oh, Mummy's always thinking you have, and you think... Pip doesn't mind. We've done a load of research. It's here! Rosie, are you ready for your big surprise? What surprise? Oh, you'll have to come and see. Oh, well, so... come on! Sorry. Uh, sure. Toby, what are you up to? You're not just saying that, are you? Of course I'm not, Shula. You'll make a fantastic vicar. <laughs> well, it'll be a few years yet. That's why I don't want to make a big song and dance about it. Well, don't worry. I won't tell. Thanks. You know, it was Freddie who originally gave me the idea. I'm joking. Freddie did. Hmm. Out of the mouth of babes. Although, when he said it, it was as though I'd known it the whole time. After so many months feeling lost and directionless. <laughs> That's the thing, though. Suddenly everything clicked into place. As soon as I stopped worrying about why I wasn't happy and started thinking about other people, it was clear what I needed to do. It's amazing. Yeah, quite scary, too. But the important thing is that you've started the journey. Been honest with yourself. I know I find that the hardest thing to do sometimes, but I have to make myself do it. Oh, come here. <laughs> oh. It's so good to hear you sounding more positive. Well, same here. Excuse me, everyone. Excuse me. Oh. Uh, it's time to meet the special guest. She's a bit shy, so try not to get too excited when she comes in. Uh, what on earth? You ready, Rosie? Here she comes. Oh. It's Stardust! Oh, my goodness. Is that what I think it is? Yes. It's a unicorn. What were you thinking? Surely there have to be laws against dyeing a Shetland pony's mane pink and strapping a horn to its face. Apparently not. Uh, I wouldn't have found one on the internet otherwise. <laughs> what did you even search for? A uh, real unicorn for children's party, of course. Oh. <laughs> and that's how I found Claire here and her very niche business. Oh, well, just look at Rosie's little face. <laughs> Bonkers. <laughs> you know your trouble, Rex. You don't dare to dream. <laughs> Just listen to yourself. You're even talking yourself out of a surefire deal with Bridge Farm Pigs. Uh, no, I'm being cautious, that's all. There's a lot to consider. Like what? Well, like the fact I've never reared pigs to slaughter weight before. I think you'll find you just keep feeding them. Uh, very funny. <laughs> Plus, the herd doesn't even belong to me. It's Neil's. 
I'm not sure I want to enter into a long-term arrangement with Tom without the ability to plan ahead. I, I really don't know what you're fretting about. You've always said you wanted to build up the business. Yes, I know. And now the opportunity has fallen right in your lap. Well, I suppose... So go talk to Neil. Make it happen, Rex. Seriously now, I, I know you can do this. But that's not going to make any difference unless you do too. Toby... Are you listening? It... No, you've got to back yourself if you want your dreams to come true. I'm not expecting an answer now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but this needs a picture. I'm not into unicorns, but seriously, how cute. <laughs> Adorable. If you just have a look at the research... Rosie, Rosie, this way. You'll see rewilding really could work in Ambridge. I thought you of all people would have an open mind. Well, look, Phoebe, it's not just rewilding I have issues with. Look, I don't mean to be harsh, but you and Rex, you haven't got much experience in farming. No, but I've got a vision and a brain and, and I'm determined determined to do something that's actually going to make a difference to the world. And what about Rex? Oh, he's been farming for a while now. On a very small scale. You've got to start somewhere. Oh, sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to... No, no, you're right. I still did it, though. Even though everyone kept telling me it was a crazy idea. Just like they did when you and Adam started your herbal legs. Oh, that's true. Nobody thought that would ever work. No, I know. But you didn't let conventional thinking hold you back. Rex, come on. So why shoot rewilding down now before you've even had a proper look at it? You'll kick yourself if you end up missing out. All right, fine. Fine, send me the research and I'll see what I think. <sighs> yes, thank you, thank you. I'm not making any promises, though. No, oh, you don't have to. Once you've read it, I know we'll win you over. Come on. Thought I might risk a cup of Toby's punch. Oh, good idea. Is there any left, Kenton? What's that? Scruff punch. You haven't drunk it all. Oh, no, no, no. I wouldn't have too many, mind. You'll start seeing unicorns. Mm, I think those two already have. No, 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 no. There, look. On the specials board, Mediterranean veg. Yeah, yeah, what about it? Mediterranean with the two T's. Oh, for goodness sake, darling. You were in the Merchant Navy. You should know how it's spelt. Yeah, well, sorry, Wayne wrote the board. Well, don't you check? Anyway, uh, back to the figures, huh? Um, so, look, if you compare that to our margins on the food... No, 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 no you... I'm going to have to correct it. Lillian! No, I'm sorry, darling, but now I've seen it, it is just going to distract me. Uh-oh, uh someone's still hung over at five in the afternoon. Toby. Good job I'm here to start my shift. Why would Kenton be hung over? From Rosie's party. I am not hung over. Oh, really? Because you're looking quite pained and you were rather partial to my scruff punch. <laughs> well, I suppose that helps explain the misspelt board. That was Wayne. <laughs> and the dirty <laughs> condiment lids and the chips under the table. I've told you, I am not hung over. Ah, oh, so it's nothing to do with not having Jolene around. Because, Kenton, you know, I am busy enough running Amside. To, to be honest, I don't think it's because of Jolene. Thank you, Toby. N no, I, I mean... Uh... Well, what is it, then? I mean, there must be a reason for all these mistakes. Well... Oh, where's the chalk? Chalk? Yeah, so I can write Mediterranean correctly. Oh, uh... Um... Oh, never mind. I'll find some. No, no, Lillian, wait. I can do that. Actually, No, guys, Lillian, it... Lillian, just hold on. <laughs> Were you saying something, Toby? Oh, I was. Thanks for asking. The chalk's in the chalk tin labelled chalk tin next to the board where it's always been. Why, thank you, Toby. You're so helpful. No problem. Emma, you up here? Where have you got to now? Oh, I had to go and see the bathroom. <laughs> there you are. Have a look at the tiles. Oh, it's all changed so much since the last time we saw the house. Yeah, OK, OK. Oh, don't you love that new carpet smell? So you're pleased then? What? <laughs> oh, wow. George is going to love this room. I've been thinking, I reckon we should decorate the kids' bedrooms first. You know, get them settled in. Sure, yeah, whatever. <gasps> oh, Kira's is gorgeous too. It isn't as big, but it's still really nice. And who knows, maybe one day she'll have George's and we can make this your office. Well, hang on. <laughs> I know, I know. It's way down the line. <laughs> yeah, but who says it's only George and Kira that'll need a room, eh? Huh? Well, I mean, now this place is beginning to feel like a proper family home, it's hard not to imagine the future. I hope you ain't suggesting we start working on it now. Uh, no, of course not. Although the carpet does look pretty soft. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, Ed, I am so happy. <laughs> I love seeing you like this. I can't believe the move's almost here. <sighs> Come on, this way. <laughs> where, where, where are you going now? Back downstairs. I want to see the kitchen again. So, when do you actually start? A week on Monday. Today was just an induction course. Oh, how was that? Brilliant. Really? Yeah, even a health and safety briefing beats cleaning out the men's changing room. <laughs> oh, I'm just so excited about working for the Wildlife Trust. Oh, that's great. Adam, your pint. Ah, just what I need after a day in the combine. Can I uh, get you anything, Kirsty? Oh, no, no, thanks. Uh, I'm ordering for Helen as well. You sure? Yeah. Then that's everything, thanks. Uh, that'll be 380 please. Speaking of trusts, I don't suppose you know if anyone there's thinking of applying to the Ambridge Conservation Trust. Oh, early days. Don't even know where the loos are yet. Uh, Terry Button is, though. You know, um, Mr Mushroom. He wants to turn Ambridge into Fungusopolis. <laughs> he wants to do what? He thinks it's the solution to climate change. Something to do with uh, its root systems. Ah, mycelium. Your what? Uh, no, mycelium. I've read about it. It's really good at absorbing CO2. What about the smell? From the sound of it, he wants to spend half the 500,000 on manure. Give me strength. I knew this would happen when the trust went public. What would happen? Well, people with crazy ideas that start sp sprouting up like mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd rather I pointed it out, wouldn't you? Yes, of course I would. I mean, I wouldn't have even noticed if I hadn't been making myself a gin and tonic. I'm sorry, sorry. I mean, it's really quite basic. And I'll make sure to rotate the stock in the fridges. I honestly don't know why it hadn't been done. Thank you, darling. Oh, Adam, are you sitting anywhere? Uh, no, not yet. Oh, let's go outside. I, um, I could do with a bit of fresh air. Uh, excuse me. Looks like I'm on. Catch you later. Uh, Toby, when you get a chance, rotate the stock in the fridges, would you? Sure, boss. Jolly good. Right, uh, I'm just off to bang my head against the wall. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Poor Kenton. <laughs> Poor me, more like. Now, what can I get you? Oh, cider, please, and a ginger wine with ice. Righty-ho. So, is it really that bad? Oh, you've no idea. And neither of them seems to realise what the real problem is. And you do? If they'd let me get a word in. Well, I'm listening. Oh, what a day. Uh, Mother dear has summoned me to the lodge this morning. Now, there's a reason the Ambridge Conservation Trust was all over the front of the Echo last week. Ah, I was wondering when you were going to talk to me about yeah, that. Darling, I know. <laughs> you said you were going to keep it low yeah, key. I, and I did try, but Mum tipped them off. Granted, what? Mm -hmm. She suspected I tried to minimise the amount of publicity the launch got. It wasn't my fault. She went to the Echo herself. <laughs> What's so funny? You didn't want her to let non-family members bid for the money either. Yeah, which is precisely why I went to see her as well. Mm. I have to admit I was pretty furious when I found out, so I confronted her about it. Told her how unfair I thought it was. Yeah. After I'd got the whole thing off my chest, mm. she simply replied that the fairest thing was for the money to go to the best bid possible. She told me that instead of complaining, I should put my energy into making sure it's mine. <laughs> oh, that certainly put you in your place. <laughs> you know, she's got me arranging the pitching event now. I have to book the village hall, sort out refreshments, organise her submissions and get some judges. Seriously? Oh, she's given me a list, Adam. And to cap it all, she says, if I deviate from her instructions anymore, she'll have to seriously reconsider my position. Oh. Well, I hope she does. Didn't want it in the first place. <laughs> Sounds to me like we'd both better just do as we're told. Mm. Mm. Only I could pull the same trick off with Kent. And... Oh, well, never mind. At least I can relax now. <sighs> what was that? Oh, for goodness sake. What's up now? Sorry, Ed. Not sure what Toby's up to down there. Uh, here's that pint of shires. Oh, cheers. And uh, was it a white wine, Emma? Yes, yeah, small, please, Kenton. Coming up. Kirsty, can we get something for you, too? Um, uh, you're not still waiting on that ginger wine, are you? Oh, don't worry, Kenton. Can't be much longer. Kirsty, we went to see the ice today. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, it's beautiful. The paintwork, the fittings. Yeah, it is really nice. Oh. That's £7.70, please, Ed. Oh, ta. 
Well, then, too much longer to go now. Yeah, but it's hard not to get impatient, though. Oh, you're getting me excited now. <laughs> hey, whatever you say about Justin, he do not cut corners. If we're plays with ours, I can't imagine what your place will be like. Well, knowing Philip, he'll still think he could have done a better job. <gasps> oh, it were kind of him to offer to help us move. That's going to make life so much easier. Oh, it's no trouble. He's got a big van. Can we go and get it now? Move in straight away. <laughs> Why not, eh? Hey? Yeah, Em, do you want to sit outside? Sure. All right, come on, then. Cheers, Kenton. Oh, no problem. You are going to be so happy, Kirsty. <laughs> I hope you get your drink soon. Yeah, me too. If you see Helen, tell her I haven't abandoned her. OK. Right, well, let's see what's keeping Toby. I'm really sorry about this, Kirsty. Oh, honestly, Kenton, it's fine. But you lot do seem pretty stressed today, if you don't mind me saying. <laughs> I know Jolene isn't around, but it, it wasn't like this the last time she went on tour. I, it's Lillian. I mean, she just keeps finding little things and it's driving me mad. Maybe you should speak to Toby. Toby? Why Toby? How did it happen? I was looking for a bottle of ginger wine. I couldn't see any, so I was rooting around at the back of the shelf. And I guess I must have accidentally knocked the vodka. And did you find it? The ginger wine? Mm. No. There doesn't seem to be any. Toby, any luck with Kirsty's order? Kenton, why don't we have any ginger wine? Uh, Toby, you need to get that glass cleared up pronto. No, you, you, you haven't answered my question. Why isn't the cellar being kept properly stocked? I mean, without the right drinks, we're barely succeeding at a pub's basic function. Oh, well, that's what I came to ask Toby. I mean, Toby, can you explain what's been going on here lately? I mean, why isn't anything getting done on time? Well, the thing is... I... You're in charge. Don't expect Toby to come up with excuses for... Lillian, please, would you just zip it for one second? <laughs> Toby, carry on. Um, well, it's not anyone's fault, really, but, but what with you and Jolene being away so much recently, uh, Oliver kind of took it upon himself to pick up the slack. Oliver did? He did what? With all his experience from Grey Gables, I don't think he even really thought about it. So, rotating the fridges, checking the spirits... It, it... was Oliver. And, and you didn't know, Kenton? No. But well, like I said, <laughs> no-one's really to blame. Although, maybe you should pay more attention to your staff in future. <laughs> and to think, Lillian, you were angling to get rid of him. I'm sorry. No, 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 never mind. We all make mistakes. Wait, wait, no. I'd best get back upstairs. No, no, just, just hang on a minute. Oliver's lack of speed as a barman has got nothing to do with it. Uh, come on, guys. Toby is right. You shouldn't be leaving so many things up to the staff. That's not what I meant. Uh, would those be the same staff that you don't think are quite good enough? Oh, all right, but speaking as one of them... Look, it's just... not up to them to make up for your look, shortcomings. Look, hello? Hello? Anyone? <sighs> what about Kirsty's ginger wine? Oh, Adam, you off? Yep. Time to hit the sack. I'll see you bright and early. Don't worry. I'll take him home soon. No, no, no. You enjoy yourself. <laughs> I'm just glad you're so pleased with the house. Bye. Yeah, see you, Adam. Hi, oh, sweet. I know he can be a bit of a control freak sometimes. <laughs> nah, nah, he's all right. Oh, look. Kirsty and Helen are giving up. Who orders ginger wine, anyway? <laughs> that sounds horrible, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, you know how proud I am of you, don't you? Me? What for? For working so hard for us. When you think how we started out in that ratty old caravan, <laughs> let alone the time you were sleeping with. Let's not go there, eh? No, no, I know, but to go from that to us being about to own our own home, of course I'm proud. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. You're the reason I do anything. Oh, hey, I didn't tell you. That bloke what shunted me with his truck, he gave me a call. What do you mean? When? Yesterday. You OK? What did he say? Yeah, I'm fine, Ed. He wanted to say sorry. He explained he'd been having a really bad day. His wife had just been rushed into hospital and he was trying to get back to her. She's OK, but he'd been feeling terrible about blowing up at me. Was that all? Well, I thought that was really nice. Didn't have to call. No, 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 I, I just mean... Um... What? No, nothing. No, I just wish you'd told me. It's good news, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's great. So it's definitely over then. Like it never happened. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, Jazza, I, I haven't woken you, have I? Woken me? No. It's just you aren't dressed. I'm just catching a few days in the back garden, that's all. Oh, I see. Well, I hope you're using plenty of sun cream. Huh. 
Is, um, is Jim there with you? You see, the Fate Committee is meeting later this afternoon. Linda, the and thing if is... if he'd like to come along, it would be lovely to see him. Apart from anything, I'd appreciate his mature voice of wisdom. I'm sure you would. Ben and Rory have been dominating things, rather. He's not here. Oh. He's off Burden to Narkright Lake. Oh, well, uh, do you know when he'll be back? Only the meeting doesn't start for another couple of hours. He won't want to. And we really have been missing him. Trust me, Linda. He's no in the mood. Uh, no, no, of course. Well, I'm glad to hear he's out enjoying himself. It would have been nice to have his support, that's all. Yes, all right, Mum, I hear you. Do you, though? <sighs> Look, Johnny's ankle may be on the mend, but he still needs to be gentle with it. I know. So you're seeing to the pigs yourself? Yes, I've filled up their wallows and I've replaced the leaky irrigation pipe in the tomatoes. Good. Mm. I'll let you get on then. Thank you. I just wanted to be sure. Afternoon. Oh, hello, Rex. Hi, Pat. How are you? Oh, fine, thanks. Ah. Tom, is this a good time? Uh, yes, sure. Uh, I can spare a minute. Hmm. Uh, Mum, weren't you going to see Helen in the shop? Oh, y yeah, sorry. <laughs> Not nice seeing you, Rex. And you. Have I just put my foot in? Uh, no, no. It's just I haven't told anyone around here about you maybe supplying us with pork. If that's what you're here to talk about. Yes, it is. Oh, I can't tell you how much I need to get the pigs off our hands. Jim. Oh, I've been wondering when we'd run into each other here. Robert. Mind if I join you? I haven't seen you in a while. No, well... That's the whole point of a hide. <laughs> if truth be known, I'm here escaping one of Linda's committee meetings. In fact, shouldn't you be there? You normally help with the fate, don't you? Usually. Today, though, I just want to enjoy some peace and quiet. Mm -hmm. Don't blame you. Great minds, eh? Then you won't be offended if I don't keep you company. I need to stretch my legs. Oh, the kingfisher's been about, though. Over by the willow. Has he? Any luck, he might be there now. Well, I'll keep an eye out. Oh, look! It's a reed bunting. Where? There, by the willow. Oh, what are you talking about? That's a house sparrow. No, no, no. Oh, it's gone now. That was definitely a female bunting. Are you telling me I don't know a common house sparrow when I see one? I don't know what you saw, but I definitely saw a reed bunting. You wanted to see a reed bunting? I did see a reed bunting. Oh, oh. now then. Let's uh, wait and see if it comes back then. Fine, but I'll be proved right. If saying would only make it so. All credit to Neil. He's been an absolute star. Not only has he agreed to let me buy his pigs, but I can pay him in instalments too. Well, that is good. Yeah. My biggest concern was making a long-term commitment without owning the herd. Sure. Um, although, like me, Neil was surprised you were okay with going non-organic. So, is everyone else on board with that? Uh, you said you hadn't mentioned me supplying you. Uh, look... The main thing is we'll continue making great tasting sausages. The only difference, as far as I'm concerned, is that the pigs are coming from you. Great. Oh, put it there. Oh. <sighs> um, if I draw up the contract, I reckon we can probably sign it sometime early next week. I'll wait to hear from you then. Brilliant. Cheers, Rex. No, thank you. Have a good one. Oh, don't worry. You've made my day already. <laughs> yes. Tom? What are you looking so pleased with yourself about? Uh, Mum... You and Rex were talking for quite a while. Yes. Well, is it a secret what it was about? Uh, no, no. It's good news. He's agreed to supply us with pork. Rex has? Isn't that great? It's still going to come from pig's bread right here in the village, and because it was Neil's herd, we know Rex has been keeping up with his high standards. Yeah, yeah, we'll be okay. able to carry on selling quality local sausages and at the same competitive price. But, uh, hold on. His pigs aren't organic. Are they, Tom? No. Uh, no, they're not. But they're free-range and well cared for. It's not as if we ever said everything in the shop has to be organic. It just has to meet our values. After all, it was you who insisted I find a supplier as soon as possible. Yes, I know. It's a shame, I know, but you can't always have everything. You're right. 
I'm sorry? Of course I'd have preferred organic, but it's a reasonable compromise. And it's wonderful that they'll be coming from just on the road. So... What? No, nothing. As long as you're fine with it. What a wonderful way to round off the afternoon. And I must doff my cap to you. When you said you'd spotted a lapwing, I thought it was going to be as imaginary as your reed bunting. <laughs> I still maintain I saw bunting. But no, there it really was. And what a beautiful iridescent plumage, too. I must let Kirsty know. Especially now she's going to be working for the Borsetshire Wildlife Trust. Is she? Yeah. She's going to be their volunteer coordinator, hadn't you heard? No. I've been somewhat out of the loop recently. Well, that's good timing. Alistair. Hello, Robert. Did you know Kirsty had a job with the Wildlife Trust? Uh, yes, although I can't remember who told me. Well, you might have let me know. I'm going to leave you two to your evening. We'll have to avoid the fake committee again, Jim. Indeed we shall. <laughs> You take care now. Yes, you too. Bye. So, you've had a good afternoon then? Splendid. Well, what of it? Nothing. It's just nice to see, that's all. I simply don't know what to do anymore. Uh, Lindy, Lindy, Lindy. Clearly I must be an old stick in the mud. What on earth happened? All I'm trying to do is protect the fate from the vagaries of the modern world. Look, take a deep breath. Just oh. slow down. Now. Explain it to me from the beginning. I assume it's something to do with Ben and Rory. Augmented reality. I beg your pardon? That's Ben and Rory's latest fad. An augmented reality treasure hunt. But instead of there being physical clues, you have to find them using an app on your phone. Oh, I see. Well, it's not just a treasure hunt, Robert. From the moment those two joined the committee, it's been grunge bands and sumo wrestlers and souffle competitions. I thought you'd like that idea. Well, yes, I'm not against souffle in principle, but the fates a week on Sunday. There's enough to arrange. Lindy, darling. What's the matter with keeping things the way they were? I know uh, change is difficult, but, yes, but... But what would you prefer? That this swarm of millennials about to descend on the village weren't interested in the fate at all? No, no, of course it's not. up to Ben and Rory to organise it anyway. It doesn't reflect on you. I know, but still... Oh, I... You don't like not being in control. Sometimes, if you want something to have a future, you have to let it go. <laughs> you know, you really can be quite infuriating, Robert. I can? Yes, the way you're right all the time, especially about me. <laughs> <laughs> hate seeing you so upset. <laughs> Honestly, though, Lindy, the fate will go off like it has done since time immemorial. Yes. I expect so. I'm sure it can survive a dose of Ben and Rory. If it's all right with you, I thought I might play my new keyboard. Yeah, sure. You don't mind, do you? You don't need help preparing dinner? No, no, that's fine. Go ahead. Ice? Hmm? In your drink. Oh, yes, please. Uh, Dad... Tell me to shut up if you want to, but there's something I need to ask. Oh? It's your choice, of course. I'm not trying to pressure you. But seeing you enjoying yourself with Robert, I just thought you might have started feeling differently. Well, out with it. Are you certain you don't want to go to the police? I, I know what you said before, and I, I understand why you feel that way. But things are different now. People are reporting abuse from years and years ago, and in a lot of cases they've been getting prosecutions, even convictions. Alistair! If you don't believe me, I can show you. You shouldn't think it's a lost cause. Alistair! I'm sorry. Don't be. I appreciate what you're saying. But it's not what's going to help. Even if it were to end up in a conviction, it wouldn't make me feel any better. All I want to do is to get back to feeling like myself. But... How are you ever going to do that without getting some sort of justice? Oh, I've managed most of my life. Yes, and it's still gnawing away at you. It's not just your life he's affected, Dad. All these years we've lost, all this time it's taken for me to understand why you were the way you are. I want Harold to answer for what he's done. You can't blame him for everything. Oh, Dad, come on. He's the one responsible. You... You do know that, don't you? 
which is why I don't want him to sully every other part of my life. I'm sorry you felt I was a distant father. That isn't what I mean. I can't change that now, though. I'm not asking you to. And to be honest, I'm not sure that I'd want to either. Things happen to people. And yes, of course, it shapes who they are. But I don't regard our relationship to have been a mistake. I'm very proud of you. Just as I'm proud of my career in academia. Yes, of course. If I make a complaint, it's just going to go on and on. First the police, then possibly court. Reliving it again and again and again. I'm not saying it wouldn't be hard. My whole life would become about what he did to me. And I'm more than that, Alistair. I've fought to be more than that. After all these years, I don't intend to let him win now. Although, I am grateful for your concern. I just want what's best for you. I know you do. Now, I'm going to go and play my lovely new keyboard. There's your squash. Thanks. Excuse me, Jazza. Drop. I didn't realise you were in. Aye. So, you still won't go to the police? You heard. Couldn't you help it? How are we going to get him to change his mind? I don't think we can, Jazza. To be honest, I can see where he's coming from. If he genuinely feels it would make matters worse... What's the matter? That pedo get away with it? That's not what I meant. What are the other ones he may have done it to? Jazza, I... No, that won't be the only one. Have you thought about that? Of course I've thought about it. Who knows how many others there is? He might still be doing it. Just don't know, do we? Yeah, exactly. It's not our decision, though. We get him to go to the police somehow. No, Jazza. He just tips them off. All we can do is what's best for Dad. But... And he doesn't want to, OK? What the hell do you think you're doing here? This is my work. Hey, just relax. People will see. So what if they do? Nothing suspicious about us talking, is there? Depends what you want to talk about, Tim. The weed killer you've got stashed in your bar. <laughs> just listen. We need to get shot of it. I've been telling you that for weeks. No, I mean we need to. You must know people who take it on the cheap. What's your boss here called? Adam. I bet you could do a deal with him. Look, have you lost your mind? Who else can you think of? What's going on, Tim? You told me this would be over soon. I thought your guys were packing up shop. They are, and that's exactly why we don't want to get left with stuff we can't shift. Yeah, but what... What, what about your brother? Will. No. He's a gamekeeper, isn't he? No, Tim, there's no one. Eh? Everything OK? Adam. <laughs> yep, yep, uh, we're just um, finishing. I don't think we've met. No. Hi, I'm Tim Oti. Ah, so you're Tim. <laughs> you and Ed have become quite the team. They're trying, at least. Yeah, um, Tim's just come by to discuss a job. Uh, Grounds maintenance. Well, um... A bit of both. <laughs> ah, I see. How many acres have you got here? About 1,500, but we also manage the arable for a Porchester land, you know them? Yeah, I've heard of them. Bet they know how to make the pip squeak. Always pressuring you to find ways to save money. <laughs> it's a lean operation, that's for sure. Which is why I can't do anything for you until harvest is over. Sorry, Tim. Uh, no problem. I'll get going then. Adam, nice to meet you. Yes, you too. And listen, if you've got any jobs that need doing... <laughs> all right, all right. Here's my card. <laughs> You'd be surprised at how low my rates are. Oh, come on, mate. Seriously, give it a rest. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. My pleasure. Ed, I'll give you a call later. Sure. OK. Bye. Excuse me, mate. Couldn't help me, could you? I'm a bit lost. Where are you looking for? Valley Farm. Right. Well, what you need to do is head back down the lane and where the road forks, you need to turn left instead. Ah, is that where I went wrong? Easily done. So much for the old sat now. Pheasants, eh? Huh? In the pen. How old are they? Oh, about nine weeks. You know much about gamekeeping? Well, I've been a beater in my time. Never a gun, mind. I know my place. Right. Yeah, so these ones were transferred from their rearing pen about a week ago. Much problem with foxes? Occasionally. Well, it must be tricky, especially with all these weeds around the paint. Sure, I guess. Lots of places for predators to hide. I might be able to help you out. Help me? Mm. How? I came by a load of weed killer recently. Now, probably best if uh, I don't tell you where it came hang from. Hang on, hang on. But I'm betting a fella like you has a nose for a good price. You're Tim. That's right. How'd you guess? 
You know my brother. Ed Grundy? <laughs> you're joking. You must be Will. I'm pleased to meet you. I hope you're as smart as your brother. Trust me, Ed. A man can only eat so much souffle. All right. A plain ham sandwich is a blessed relief. <laughs> yeah, uh, Rory was telling me about the great souffle showdown he's got planned for the fate. Ah. He's now decided it should be judged on height. What? How does that work? <laughs> Don't ask. Oh. All I know is that when I hear the sound of Ian's whisk, I run for cover. <laughs> was that a, a message from Jazza? Uh, no, 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 he still hasn't replied. Doesn't look like he'll be joining us for lunch. No. Now, Emma's found a lampshade for the hall. Wants to know if we should buy it. Yeah? And what's the verdict? Well, yeah, yeah, of course. It's just nice to be asked. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks again for Wednesday, by the way. Oh, Wednesday? Um, let me have the time off to go see the house. Oh, don't be daft. I know how hard you and Emma have worked for it. In fact... What? Well, I was going to wait until you'd moved in, but that's probably more useful to tell you now. OK. The farm's been through so much upheaval, what with the fallout from the chemical leak and me taking over the management from Brian. There's been so much to deal with. I can't tell you how much worse it would have been without someone as, as competent and resourceful as you to rely on. Oh, cheers, Adam. Which is why I want to give you a bonus. <laughs> not, 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 not a fortune, I'm afraid, but... Uh, Enough to be able to buy a few little extras for the house. Are you serious? <laughs> Absolutely. I'm going to be up to my neck in nappies pretty soon. I'm going to need you even more. I, I don't know what to say. Thank you. <laughs> Ed, you don't need to say anything. No one could deserve it more. Can you see? I ain't interested. Let me finish. Go on, clear off. What if I said you could make a few bob? <gasps> Unbelievable. Listen, listen. You buy the weed killer off me cheap, then you invoice Borchester land what you'd normally pay and pocket the difference. You can always say you lost the receipt. And what if I reported you to the police instead? Well, now, that wouldn't be very clever at all. No? I think I might call them right now. We do. Put the phone down. You don't want to do that? Yeah? Why not? Because you'd be dropping your own brother right in it. That's why. Nice try. But Ed ain't involved anymore. He told you to sling your hook same as me. <laughs> Where'd you hear that from? From him? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and you believed him. Oh dear, oh dear. You really aren't very bright, are you? The reason I'm here is because the weed killer's stashed in his barn. What are you on about? Up at your family's pole barn. No. No, you're lying. Even Ed wouldn't do something stupid like that. He promised me. He's your brother. You know him best. Take my advice, though. Before you hit that call button, maybe you should have a quiet word with him first. What's your problem with hay meadows? <laughs> you wouldn't mind if they were called herbal lays. Now that's fighting, too. Well, it's true, though. Yeah, my proposal's more than just herbal lays. It's about educating the industry about how to maintain healthy soil. Well, we're just going to have to see who your gran gives the money to. <laughs> yes, we will. <laughs> And it won't be your dad. Well, you want to bet on that? <laughs> Hello, Will. All right. Did you, uh, do you need me for something? Uh, no. Uh, I've come to see Ed. Right. Well, uh, I've got a phone call to make. If you'll excuse me. Yeah, OK, Adam. What's wrong? Will, what's, what's the matter? What's going on? Oh, I'd ask you. But you'd probably just lie again. Hey? It's pathetic. Well, honestly... Will, I, I don't know what you're going on The about. weed killer, Ed. The weed killer. Your mate Tim has just tried to sell me. Will, listen. I, I, uh, you looked me in the eye. I, I know. You I know, looked I me know. in the eye and told me you'd stopped. Well, I know how scared you are of losing Poppy. I didn't want to no, worry you. No, 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 no. And it is going to be over well, soon. You think I'm so weak. I need protecting. No, I just know that you've had a lot to deal with. Now, don't uh, make out you did this for me. Look, you don't understand, Will. Tim threatened me. I told him I wanted out. Of course you did. I really did, but he said that the gang that we've been working for would come after me. And then, and then when Emma got shunted in the car... Mm -hmm. like what? A pickup it drove into the back of Emma when she was out with Kira and George. The what? driver went ballistic. I thought they were sending a message. George was there? Yeah. <laughs> My son? 
You've dragged him into this now. No, wait, wait, no, no, no. You put him in danger. That's not what I'm saying. It wasn't them. You it's... are such a coward. Stop. Stop. Why do you have to try and wreck everything? Why are you not listening to me? If Come it weren't me. for you, I'd be happy. What the hell? Will! Adam, get him off no. me! Will, let go of it. Sir, no, I should have known that to trust you. Hey, hey. God! Oh. Out! What on earth do you think you're playing at? Why well, ain't me? He's the one selling illegal pesticides. Him and his mate, too. Well, you're mental! How do you think he can afford this new house? I won't tell you again, Will. Honest, Adam. I said get out! Fine. I'm going. <laughs> I'm sorry, Adam. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what any of that was about. He just lost it. He, he seems to have got this crazy idea in his head. I don't. Well, maybe you could try to explain it to me. In my office. Now. Have a seat. Honestly, Adam, he must have got the wrong end of the stick somehow. He seemed pretty convinced to me. Yeah, but that's Will for you. He gets paranoid. Yeah, that's still not a reason to accuse you of selling illegal pesticides. I don't know. I, maybe he misheard someone. Maybe he's jealous. Of what? The, the new house? I... Ed, I'd rather you were just honest with me. He's not going to have made it up out of thin air. Yeah, all right. I... Look, you... You've got to believe me. I, I didn't sell anything. Ed. All I did was drive. Look, look I know it was stupid. I, I wish I'd never got into it. And this was with Tim, was it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he said he knew a way that I could make some extra money. I see. So, when he was here earlier, the job you were discussing, I'm assuming it wasn't exactly legitimate either. No. But that's why I was trying to get rid of him. I've told him I'm packing it in. I, I don't want anything more to do with oh, it. Ed. Look, this has got nothing to do with Home Farm. Can't we just... Can't we just get back to work? Yeah, I'm not sure that's going to be possible. What, how do you mean? Well, apart from any other concerns when it comes to... Illegal chemicals. We've had our fill of bad publicity recently. But that's different. Them chemicals what leaked into the ham, they were dangerous. This stuff, it, it just ain't above board. Do you think that's... that's how it'll be reported if you get caught? Yeah, but I told you I'm out. I'm, I'm not going to get caught. Can you be certain of that? Well, no, but I, I still... It don't link back to you. You're my employee, Ed. Yeah, I know, but... Tim was here on the farm. For God's sake, just by knowing about it and not doing anything, I'm practically an accessory. I've still got his card in my pocket. You're not going to shop us, are you? No, Ed. I'm not going to shop you. So what... <sighs> Adam, please. It's not something please. I want to do. Don't fire me. Please, if I lose my job, they're not going to give us a mortgage. That's not up to me. Do you understand what that means, though? That we'll lose the house. I'm sorry. Adam, you can't. Me and Em, we've worked so hard. It's why I needed the money, so I could raise the deposit in time. I'm sure. I'll do anything. I'll work as many hours as you like. You won't have to pay me any extra. Come on, that's not the point. I'm begging you. If not for me, then for Emma and the kids. It's not fair to punish them for what I've done. Ed, really, please. You should see George and Kira, Adam. They're so excited. And, and Emma, that's... That house is, is all she's ever dreamt of. Look, look I, I know I messed up, but I'm asking you as a friend, please... Don't take this away from them now. Please. I, uh, I don't want to see you lose the house. <sighs> but the business can't take another scandal. I'm sorry, Ed, but I'm going to have to let you go. 